Howdy friends, it's Kathy from Rust Paper Scissors and I have some new items I was going to put in my Etsy shop. I call these Hojo's. They're holiday journal inserts and this would just be something that you would add to let's say your Halloween journal or your fall or Thanksgiving journal or maybe your December dailies. So it's a a set of three Hojo's, uh, one for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. And then this is the first set. And then I have another set which is a little bit more rustic, and I'll call that set two, and uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. And then I also wanted to highlight some of the items I have in my shop and new things I was going to put in my shop. Uh, my shop is Rust Paper Scissors. It's an Etsy shop. And um, we'll just go from there. Uh, they're very similar, but they are a little bit different. So each one comes with a uh, bookmark. And then I'll push these off to the side, and we'll go through them individually. The first one is the little Halloween Hojo holiday journal insert. And it comes with a uh, bookmark. And it's just a little black grosgrain ribbon. I added some rusted ribbon crimps. I rust those and sell those in my shop. And then I added a little um, clear crystal uh, ball. So I thought that was appropriate with the witch's theme, a little crystal ball. So uh, that. The ribbon cramps, so you know, I put them on with um, a little glossy accents. So when I clamp them down, the, the ribbon's not going to come out. These, they're not going anywhere. And I also, on the end of my ribbons, I put a little fray check so they doesn't ravel. I do that with uh, all my ribbons and uh, anything that might ravel. Like if I cut up a doily, I don't want it to come apart. So I'll put the little fray check on the uh, ends and uh, it dries clear and it works really well. So there's... A tip for you. And then this one comes with a, a little rusted mini bulldog clip. I sell those in my shop. And then it has a, a set of three tags. One's a little skull and crossbones, and they're blank. The other one's uh, a little spider web, and then a little tombstone. And those are, I think, Tim Holtz um, stamps that I got, I think, at Tuesday morning. And then this is just uh, a little insert that can go in your uh, journal. And or you could use these on other projects, too, if you wanted. Um, I bound this one with a metal prong fastener that I rust. The beauty of the metal prong fasteners is that you could take these pages out. You could add more pages to them. You could do something different. So that's what I like about these. Uh, plus the fact that they're rusted, and I like anything rusty. And then it just has approximately eight blank pages in there for you to journal on or to add a picture to embellish however you want. So that's just a little insert. And then this is an insert that, uh, it's a digital print. I love this one. I believe it was a magazine cover. The uh, top of it says October 19th. 1895. So I just love that picture. I think that's a beautiful uh, image. And then I back it onto some uh, ribbon twist paper. I sell this in my shop. Uh, I sell the tan and the green. I like to back it on things because it adds a little bit of dimension, but it doesn't add a lot of bulk. So I did that. I closed this one again with a fastener, but I used, instead of the prongs, I used uh, brads. And then it's just, again, blank pages, about eight pages. A little bit bigger place for you to journal. And then the back is uh, corrugated cardboard. And then um, I've made several holiday journals where I celebrate all the major holidays. And um, my thing is I'm more of a list maker. I want to know perhaps how much I spent on candy that year, like in 1995, or 
what was the weather like? Uh, we had a party. Who came? What was the menu? So that's where I devised these little inserts. And again, it's just held together with a prong fastener. You could change it out. I stamped on here, Wicked. And then on the inside, this talks about your traditions, like the tradition in our family for uh, Halloween is we go to a, a haunted restaurant. Uh, it's called Catfish Plantation. It's down in Waxahachie, Texas. And uh, we eat there. And when the kids were little, they used to dress up in their Halloween costumes when we went. It was so much fun. Oh, my gosh. And then we come home and we watch The Ghost of Mr. Chicken with Don Knotts. And uh, that, that's our tradition. So that's one of the traditions. And then decorations. Uh, when the kids were little, I made this skeleton out of PVC pipe. And uh, we call him Boney, and we used Boney for years, and they loved him. So that was a decoration. What were the costumes? What was maybe their favorite costumes, or what costumes did they wear that year? What were the top ten? Maybe what were the top ten movies you watched, or uh, what were the top ten things that happened? Uh, top ten songs, things like that. Uh, and then if you had a party, who were the guests? Uh, what was the menu? And then obviously always on... Halloween, you're worried about the weather, so the kids can trick-or-treat, so there's a thing to talk about the weather, and then in the back, I added just a little library card holder, and then inside is um, a little library card, some tickets, and a little library card that uh, has a crow on it also. It's stamped with a raven, I guess that's what that is, and so that's that one, and this is this is the one thing that is consistent in all the hojos is a thing about the specific holiday. And um, so I just wanted to go through that. And then the next one is Thanksgiving, which I'm, I'm partial to Thanksgiving. I feel like it gets overlooked by Christmas. And um, I, I, I love Thanksgiving. Uh, this one has a bookmark, and again, it's the Grow Grain Ribbon with the rusted ribbon crimps. And on this one, I added just a brownish color. They look like marbles, but just a little bobble. So that's the um, bookmark that you get. Then in this, this with this one, uh, or these all come together. If I say with this one, uh, you know, it, it all comes together. Again, the little mini bulldog clip. Three tags, um, the acorn, a leaf, and maybe some straw or hay. Wheat, that's what it says, wheat. Okay, so that's that one. Okay. And then on this one, I made just a little fabric swatch, and then I added a uh, rusted, this is a, let's see if you can see, you can't see. It is a jewelry pin. It doesn't have a coil at the bottom. I sell these in my shop. This is the small one. This is the larger one. So you can see the difference. This is two inch and this is one inch. So uh, I used that on this little swatch and then I just added some tags. Acorn, I think. Um, I'm not sure what the other ones say. Feast, chestnuts, and then the top one is gobble. Uh, these would be different. It's just a little printout that I, uh, a little digital printout that I used. So that comes with the journal, or the hojo. And then this is a fabric swatch that I made. It's just some lace and some uh, material, and then a little kind of like gauze fabric, and then I stamped family on there, and I, I guess that's called slow stitch. I slow stitched on there. Uh, I put it together with a rusted ribbon crimp, and I'm going to start selling these in my shop. The one-inch ribbon crimps with uh, the rhinestones added. I think the rhinestones just soften the rusted elements just a little bit, so I like that. And this, how you could do this was if you had a page in your journal and you wanted to perhaps have uh, a little note or something you journaled something but you didn't want it to show, what you could do is you could glue this ribbon crimp onto the page and then it would be held there and then you could lift it up and you could journal and it'd be just a little secret journaling place. So that's, um, that's that. 
And then I also added a little coin envelope. It just has a false seam with a little basket and some pumpkins and gourds. And then on the back, I sell the, the tea dyed metal rim tags. And I just use that as a closure. So it makes it really easy to open and close the flap. So that's included. And then this was a little insert that I made. And it just a little, uh, I believe this is twill tape. And I stamped Harvest on there. And then I added a digital onto some uh, tea stained uh, tracing paper and again it's a little basket with some pumpkins and gourds and greenery and then again it's just blank pages for you to journal in about eight pages for you to journal on so that's something for your journal and then this is the um, insert about uh, Thanksgiving in particular and I stamped gather on there and then our Thanksgiving traditions uh, we always go to my Aunt Lou's. Uh, oh, we every year we watch, there was a TV show called WKRP in Cincinnati, and they had an episode, a Thanksgiving episode, and it was called Turkeys Away, and it's hysterical. Uh, we watch it every year on Thanksgiving. We also watch Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. That's our Thanksgiving movie. I think Sin of a Woman is a Thanksgiving movie, so we have lots of traditions. And then what were our decorations? And then, uh, being from Texas, football is very big. Cowboys used to always play on Thanksgiving. They still may, I'm not sure. But, um, so football is big. And then I, I added this quote. I added this, um, it's a little alligator clip. I use them as paper clips. And on this one, I added a little rhinestone. I sell them plain. I sell them with rhinestones. And I sell them uh, with flatback pearls. And what I like about it is if you put it in there, you know, it peeks out. So again, it's a little way to show a little bling or whatever. But the quote for football is, Thanksgiving dinners take 18 hours to prepare. They are consumed in 12 minutes. Half time to take 12 minutes. This is not a coincidence. And that was Irma Bombeck. So I like that. I thought that was cute. So I had to add that because, like I say, football is king here in Texas. And then uh, what were the top ten? Maybe so-and-so fell asleep. You know, what were your top ten? Guess who came that year? And then the menu, our menu for Thanksgiving, it's always the same. You can't tell Thanksgiving from Christmas. It's the same menu. And then what was the weather, you know, like? So that's, that's that insert. And then now Christmas. And Christmas comes with, uh, also included, is I didn't have any red ribbon. So I had this red twill tape that I had uh, tea stained. And I added the little rusted ribbon crimps. And I added a little rusted um, uh, jingle bells. So I wanted to show you. I'm going to start selling those. Uh, in my shop and this is a Christmas journal that I'm working on and this is my signature uh, closure it's a um, bulldog closure and it has a chain so you could open it up wider or keep it closed tighter and then on this one I added just again the little um, rusted jingle bells and then on the inside I added uh, the jingle bells along the different signatures. I'm going to start selling these in my shop, and I'll sell a set of four, and then maybe a set with the closures if you're interested. Uh, if you would let me know if you think that's something that people would be interested in, um, but I, I like them. I think they add just a little something to your paper edges, and using the um, using the ribbon cramps, it's very quick and easy. Uh, they add on there quick, they're going to stay. So that's that's just something in addition. So that was, um, got off track there, sorry. And in this Hojo, uh, you get uh, a little library card, there's a uh, holder. They're sticky on the back, so you could peel it off and add it to a page. In this one, I just added uh, a little tag that I made. It's a digital print, and I backed it with some sticky back velvet. I love this stuff. I love the feel of it. Uh, and then on the back, I added just some cardstock. 
and then I added three kind of vintage tags. I'm going to date myself, but I miss when we used to dress up for the holidays, and we would always dress up and go over to my aunt's or, you know, whatever, but it was always a big deal. You, you dressed up. And so this is just three little vintage tags. I love her. I think she's so cute. And then uh, this was just a ticket that I made, and it says Merry Christmas. And then a couple of years ago, at Hobby Lobby, they sold these little Santa Claus heads. And I got several packs. I love them. And I just added it to a card, and it's blank. So you could put your Santa's list on there or whatever you wanted to, to do. And then uh, this insert is a, uh, it's just this beautiful woman all dressed up doing her decorations. And again, it's on some corrugated cardboard. It has the uh, rusted metal prong fastener. And again, it's just blank pages. And so that's another little insert for you. And then this one was a little bit, I felt more like a little homespun. It's again, the corrugated cardboard, the metal prong fastener, and then I added this fabric and then a little Merry Christmas printed on some ribbon. So that's that. And then the black again is just the blank pages and um, a little bit bigger place for you to journal, but you could stick that you know, in your journal. And then included is this uh, bulldog clip, and then I just added three little tags. You could use these in this, um, you know, in your project, or you could use them on a card, some other way. So one says 25, and then memories, and then the details. And so that's part of that. So I just added it to that. And then this is the Christmas uh, insert, and it just says Mary. And then again, you know, what are the traditions? The tradition in our house is that Santa does not wrap the presents. He just leaves them uh, blank. But, you know, what are the traditions in your home? And then our decorations. Oh, a couple of years ago, I found these fishing bobber lights. I don't know if you're familiar with fishing bobbers, but uh, sometimes they're round and they're red and white, red on top, white on the bottom. And someone had taken a uh, string of mini Christmas lights and added the fishing bobbers to it so they light up. Oh, I love those things. We have a bar in our kitchen where the kids sit to eat and I string the bobber lights along the bar and I just love it and the kids love it. And um, since we don't have uh, a mantle on our fireplace, uh, we put the kids' stockings on the back of their bar chairs. So we had the stockings there and the bobber lights, and, uh, and I think it, it looks good. So uh, that's our decorations. And then who came that year? Who were the guests? You could even put, you know, what were your top ten? Oh, top ten movies. Okay. My uh, best friend from high school, we have gotten together for the past 35 years. We have not missed one year. We uh, get together with our families and we watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I laugh like I've never seen the movie, but we've done it every year, like I say, for 35 years. So that's our top 10. But what are your top 10 movies? Like, I love Christmas Vacation, obviously. I love uh, It's a Wonderful Life. We have to watch that every year on Christmas Eve. Poor George Bailey. He never got to do one thing he ever wanted to do in his entire life. and uh, But I love it. We watch it. And then um, I uh, love uh, While You Were Sleeping. I consider that a Christmas movie. I consider um, An Affair to Remember uh, as a Christmas movie. When uh, Cary Grant comes back to see Deborah Carr, he comes on Christmas Day and finds out that she's paralyzed. Uh, so I love that one. So that's the that. And then what was your menu? What was the weather? And then on this one, I added just one of those um, library card holders, and I just stamped a Santa Claus on there. But it's for you to put your special memories in there. Okay, so this is set one. All this comes together as a set. And then um, I'll show you set two. Let me get this all out of the way. Um, Okay, this is set two. 
this one I, I consider it maybe a little more grungy, a little more rustic. Uh, but this is set to, and all this comes together. And again, you get a um, a bookmark. And on this one, uh, it's the Grow Grain Ribbon again. I added the ribbon crimps, and then I just added, instead of a white crystal ball, I added a black crystal ball. So maybe you have a dark side and you like that better. Um, and then on this, on the Halloween, it's basically the same. You get three tags, a little um, bulldog clip, a bat, a raven, and a poison bottle. And then um, on this one, the insert is uh, a little raven that I stamped, and then the blank pages. And then uh, this one has an insert. It is, oh, on this one, I closed it with uh, the rusted washers and brads. So you could, again, change the pages on that if you wanted. And then this is just an insert. It's a skull. It's printed on uh, tracing paper that's been tea dyed. And then your prong fastener. And then, again, it's just plain pages uh, for you to embellish or add pictures, whatever. And then this is the insert about, the, about Halloween. Again, it's talking about your traditions, decorations, costumes, top ten. I think there's a menu, weather, so that's, that's that one. And then this is uh, Thanksgiving, and again it has a um, grow grain tag, and this one has just a teardrop crystal, and I believe they're kind of a topaz color. I thought that went with the fall or Thanksgiving, and I, I got this off of, I believe, a vintage necklace that I got at, an, at a resale shop. So that, and then these are the three tags that come with this one. It's a little pumpkin, a leaf, and another leaf. And um, on this one, I added a little, I call them fabric uh, swatches. It's just some lace. And, uh, well, I, told, I talked about them in the other one, but it's the same. It's lace and material, and it has the rhinestones on the ribbon crimp, a little button, so just something similar to you to add. And then again, here is the um, fabrics uh, piece, and then I added a tag that says family, and then these say hay bales, gather, and scarecrow. Again, the words on there might be different, I might not always have those exact words. And then this is... Um, the insert for this um, journal and um, what it is is just an insert that I made but I closed it with the D-ring fasteners and this is what these are um, they're um, just I call them D-ring fasteners and I rust them and I use them to close here I use them sometimes in a journal to tie the um, journal together and it's an easy way to um, you know have your uh, your journal bound and then all you did was um, slip the ribbon through the D-rings and uh, it's pretty easy I love them they're closed you can make it as thick as you want so that's another idea but I sell those in my shop but I used them on this one to uh, attach the pages to the thing. And I added a little string, and then I added the little jewelry pins that say fall. It's not, it's not cooperating. <laughs> but that's that. And then I added a digital print of a little pumpkin. And it's just printed on, I believe this is just on paper. And then the inside is uh, paper. And on this one, I added a couple of little prompts, like hay rides and... Um, Let's see, hay rides and bonfires, just things you might do in the fall. Football, obviously football's king. And uh, there's one more here at the back. What does this back one say? Uh, movies, again, your favorite uh, fall movies. And uh, again, you could undo 
uh, the brides on the back and you could change the pages out or add more pages if you wanted. But that's that little insert. And then this is the um, insert for Thanksgiving and it's just, uh, it's the same with the same prompts. Uh, I just added a little tag that says gobble gobble but the the tags and the uh, things are the same. I won't go through them. You've seen it several times now. And then this is the one for Christmas. And Christmas, again, I have this um, um, bookmark with the jingle bells. And then this one comes with a um, um, library card holder. And then again, inside I have the tags. I have a little Father Christmas on the sticky back red velvet. And then uh, just journal on the back. Here's our three little um, vintage tags. And um, I love those. And then I made a tag that says, you know, Merry Christmas. And then uh, the little tag with the Santa. And uh, then uh, the insert for this one is just, again, the corrugated cardboard. Uh, it looks like Father Christmas. It says, A Very Merry Christmas. Um, <clears throat> it's on uh, the tracing paper. And then again, your um, uh, blank pages for you to embellish. And then this one, I, I added a, it's just a, a total insert that's just totally top 10. And so if uh, I sell a lot of these, I might not have this exact paper, but it would look very similar. But uh, this is just uh, Christmas, obviously Christmas paper. And then I did a big metal rim tag that says top 10. And then I just added little tags along the side on different types of pages. Just for you to, again, take the time to maybe write down your top, maybe your top memories. Maybe your top favorite Christmases. Maybe your favorite songs. You know, I don't know what, what might be important to you. But that's for you. And then this one has a little um, tag, a little bulldog clip with um, the tags 25 and then remember. And then again, the details. And then that's that. And then this one is just the same with the traditions, tra traditions, decorations. Okay. Sorry. Decorations. Oh, this one. I added uh, a little um, of the alligator clips and um, I added two little tags that comes in. I added the, the word movies, a little prompt. And then this is just one of my favorite movies is White Christmas. When the kids were little, we told them that White Christmas was a G.I. Joe movie. So they ran and got their G.I. Joes and came and sat back down. And it's only like G.I. Joes for like the first five minutes. And so that was funny. That's always a good memory. And then uh, we love Elf. So I added just a little ticket with Elf and then the little um, clip. So that's that one. And then just the rest of the same menu and weather. And so that is um, the two different sets. So you get, uh, you get a Halloween, a Thanksgiving, and a Christmas. The second set is a little bit more rustic. I will put second set rustic, and the first set was more of the, uh, you know, just that first set. And uh, so I did want to just go over a couple of little things in my shop and some ideas. Um, I wanted to show the um, ribbon cramps. I'm going to sell them in sets of six, but um, this is... The different ribbon cramps and um, I think they just adds a little softens the rust just a little bit so that's them I don't know if you can see them well and then I talk about cohesiveness a lot in uh, things looking that if you have a vintage journal to make sure everything looks vintage and so uh, a while back I did one of these uh, specimen cards and um, the acetate that I used, I didn't like it being quite so clear and 
crisp and pristine. So you know how you take alcohol ink and you can rub it on uh, cello tape and uh, it ages it? Well, I aged it with this, um, uh, what is that, acetate. So I don't know if you can really see it, but rather than being clear, it has a real yellow tint to it. So uh, I like that. I thought it made it look just a little bit more um, vintage. Again, here's another one. This is just an idea of the ribbon crimp added to the bottom of a tag and a little um, another little tag put on there. This is an example of the um, jewelry pins. It doesn't have the crimp, so you can insert it either way. So that's just an idea. And then um, this was another idea of the jewelry um, crimp on the side of a page with a little um, bobble added. So that's that. And then this, this is the idea of the ribbon crimp. This one, since I was doing it, I added the fabric and the ribbon crimp and all to the to this tag. So when I make the swatches where I complete it, you know, don't add it to a tag, uh, that's when you have to glue it. So this one, it's uh, attached on there, and then it could be like a little journaling device. And I could put, you know, I could collage more on this front, uh, but it was just an example for you to see. I think that's, oh, I wanted to show you. Um, these are, I sell the rusted book rings. I just started selling um, the rusted paper clips by the box. And it, it's really, I've had a good um, success with a, a box of a large, the jumbo, and then a box of the regular. So I sell those. Any of my items, if you needed a larger supply, if you would just let me know or maybe um, contact me, I can usually make a bigger um, bit of the um, rusted item. Uh, this is the alligator clips. And then I also sell the, some rusted um, book by our binder clips. These are the small, the mini ones. Um, I sell uh, rusted washers and brads. I put them together, but you don't have to. Uh, the brads, I use them a lot, like little reinforcers on the paper, and then the brads. So that's just a, a little sample of um, some of the items in my shop. I want to thank you for your time. I know your time is precious, and especially around the holidays, it gets kind of crazy. I would appreciate your comments if you felt like there's something I could do better, or even your uh, ideas if you feel like these things are valuable or useful. Uh, I would appreciate it. It's, you know, sometimes you're here by yourself thinking up, you know, what can I make? And to me, it sounds interesting, but somebody else might not think so. So I would appreciate your help, but um, I wanted to thank you again. I thank you for your time, and uh, my shop is Rust Paper Scissors. These will be in my shop, and uh, I appreciate uh, you very much. Thank you.